Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on how to set up Cyprian client for safe co communication to the MDM hub. So whenever you want to communicate with the Informatic MDM hub through the SIP, we need to first set up the Cyprian client. Through the Cyprian client instance, we can communicate with the Informatic MDM and the external application. Cyprian client is based on what property we set like what is the ORS, what are the credential, what type of protocol we are going to use. Those are the necessary property in order to set up communication between the external application and the MDM hub through the Cyprian client. So let's see what are the things we need to configure for that. First thing is we need to set up is nothing but we have to set up the properties file. Of course we can hard code the value or we can set up the properties file. So in today's session, instead of hard coding the values, we will set up a Cyprian client properties file. So for that, you have to first create a properties folder inside your Java project, which is already created. So you can give any name, but for the simplicity or the convenience, we are giving the name as a properties. Right click on the project, go to the new and create folder. Give the name as the properties and finish. And then get the properties file. This properties file available whenever you install the resource kit. You have to just modify its value as per your configuration. The name of property is Cyprian client, Cyprian underscore client dot properties. You can give any other name as well. There is no restriction. The first property you need to set is your ORS ID. So how can you get the ORS ID? So in order to get the ORS ID, go to the MDM hub, select the databases. Of course, you need to select the master database in order to connect to the configuration section of the MDM hub. Select the appropriate ORS. For my example, I'm going to use MDM sample. So we have to select MDM sample ORS. And here is the database ID. So this database ID you have to copy and configure for this property. So this is ORCL hyphen MDM underscore sample. This is the property. You have to give the username and the password. The next thing you have to set is the protocol. So there are three protocols available. HTTP, AGB and SOAP. So if you want to know a little more about this protocol, you can <clears throat> you can see my previous videos. So for today's session, we are going to use a Cyprian client HTTP protocol. If you are using the HTTP protocol, you have to also set the other property that is HTTP protocol property with the call URL. So the property is HTTP.call.url and this is the uh, property you have to set for your application. I am using the JBoss server. That's why I am using the 8080 as a port. If you are using any other application server, port may vary. If you are going to use the EGB protocol, then the corresponding application server properties has to be enabled. For example, if you use the protocol EJB with the JBoss, this given properties has to be uncommented. In order to or enable means you have to just uncomment this property. If you are using EJB with the web sphere, below are the properties you have to enable. If you are using EJB with the web logic, below are the properties you have to enable. So once you set these properties, the next thing is we have to create a Cyprian client. How to create Cyprian client? So here, okay, so one more property you need to set that is nothing but the log4j property. So how to set the log4j? You have to create one more folder as like properties. The name of folder is config. Of course, you can give any other name as per your requirement. Go to the new, create folder and config. The folder is created. We'll just go and copy this log4j. Of course, this log4j also available when you install the resource kit. This is the log4j XML, which is internally used by the Informatica MDM. These by default properties are enough for the logging. But of course, if you want to modify this, you can modify as per your requirement. The next thing we are going to create is a Cyprian client. In order to create Cyprian client, you have to go to the source folder, right click on the source folder, new, 
go to the class so the we are going to give the very generic name so you can give the cyprian client or you can give the cyprian client instance or you can give the cyprian client or see if cyprian client that would be more appropriate you can give the package name inside the package section com dot api dot save com dot save dot api dot common so common all the common classes will be deciding in this folder so once you said that you can create a main method by selecting this and just click finish so the the main method automatically get created and this is the class name then go and create one private method which will return the cyperian client you know if you don't know the name fully just types few letters of that word and use a control space it will show you as option so use this cyperian client and the automatic class get imported from the corresponding jar file so jar files are available which are available in the class path like cypern ap and cypern common so these are the classes get automatically imported available inside this jar then give the name as a run for this method and try to create a cypern client so what we'll do we'll first create a null instance so i will create like this and then what you have to do you have to write a try catch block for the error handling of course we need to write the finally block for the more appropriate implementation next thing you have to do is you have to use this equal to and the convention to use the read the file is cypern client new cypern client and you have to provide the file name so this is the way if you if you want to uh, use appropriate files so now the file class is available inside sun package also in the J java io package so we have to use the java io package file then finally you have to return the, the instance here now suppose something happened and if there is no communication is occur so the exception will occur and we can throw that exception here and we can print the stack what is the actual error the next thing is you can also catch if you want of course the throwable exception i will make this like this throwable is topmost uh, in inside the java exception handling and you can catch the if any throwable exception occurs like if some of the jar files missing so th such kind of exception might be caught into the throwable so if any error occur or if we, if something wrong goes that will be mentioned or that will be caught in this exception next thing is if you want to use any relative path or if you want to use absolute path you can do accordingly in order to get the absolute path you can go and copy from this file how to go just right click on the file go to the properties and you will find the the location where the file is present so you can use that file location here Next, next, next thing is you will get the error. So you know to resolve error, you have to use the appropriate forward slash with a escape character. For the forward slash except character is again one more forward slash. So if you use two forward slash, that means uh, it is one escape character. But if you use the unique server, you have to use a backward slash. So we we set the Cypern client and this cypern client is pointing to the cypern client properties file so in this property file we mentioned all the details for the communication to the mdm hub with this ors next thing is we have to call this method so how to call this method the run method we have to call from the main method 
before calling the main method what we have to do we have to initialize this instance in order to initialize this class instance you have to use a new operator and this is just java, java standard you must know the basics of the java before writing this class and call the run method run method is private so we can easily call inside this same class so if something wrong happen you will definitely get error or if there is nothing wrong everything is fine we can write a system.out.println with mentioning that mdm hub connection is successful so we will mention this message if something wrong happen this error will be printed well before printing this error message so let's try to run this class but before running this class make sure your application server is up for my case it's a jboss it is successfully running i have tested using the hub also whether it's running or not in order to run this application this is called a java standard application either right click on the class and you can go to the run run as java application or you can go to the class which, which one which you write right click on that class and do the run as so this run as option only available if you implement this main method if your class do, do not contain the main method you will not see the run as option so run as on the java application option so i will make run as java so my expectation is it should print the details on the console that is mdm hub connection is successful so this way you can connect to the mdm hub so we got the mdm hub connection we can do as many operation as want as per our business need so this is the details about how to create mdm hub connection through the java i hope this tutorial will help you to set up the cypern client communication thank you for watching the video you can subscribe my channel as well have a nice time